Today I'm going to paint Geneve from Black Rose Wars. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. And right off the bat, please don't say, hey, your miniature speckled. Yes, I know my Zenithal Prime screwed up because my airbrush got clogged and I didn't notice. And I said, you know what, let's see what contrast is going to do over a speckled miniature. Well, as you saw in the picture at the beginning, it doesn't look great on the picture because the camera is trying to pick up all the little details. However, when you look at it in real life and when you look at the miniature being painted, it looks really, really good. Okay, she looks amazing. The speckle doesn't show much. It's just picked up on the camera uh, a little bit more than it would. So today we're using some Citadel colors, shades, and contrast paints to paint this amazing detail, amazingly detailed miniature again. Black Rose Wars, great game if you're into mages and battling and summoning all sorts of cool evocations. Just a great game and their miniatures are amazing. Ludus Magnus Studio really brings it when it comes to their miniatures. They do an amazing job. Uh, and I know Black Rose Wars is an older game, but their Rebirth game is coming out eventually. And I want to start painting this up because they are amazing miniatures. Okay. And as you can see, I'm using, again, contrast paints and some shades. Uh, and having put that Agrax Earth Shade on the ground first before painting the roses and the, the all the vines and all that, I found help made a little bit more of a... Uh, shading effect for the roses and all that and I'm also putting that on her vial there that green that she's holding in her hand which I didn't notice until I started painting I was like hey she's got a bottle of poison too with the dagger and she's holding it very nicely behind her back like this is a maid you don't want to mess with and this is one from the base set so she is uh, in the core game I do have the entire Kickstarter kit which is the Sator box I think it was called Dan, or was it the Rotas box? I don't remember. One of them is Sator. I think Sator may be the old one, and Rotas may be the new Rebirth one. Anyways, you get those confused, and they're huge honking boxes, okay? The Kickstarter stuff is worth it. All right, if you haven't bought th this game, go look for uh, Ludus Magnus Studios Black Rose Wars, but I think they're out of stock of their Kickstarter exclusive box sets. Which kind of sucks. But you can also buy uh, their little kits to get all the evocations, to get all the miniatures and all that stuff. So that's really cool. Uh, it's an awesome game of mages fighting it out in a lodge. You destroy rooms, you gain benefits, you cast spells. Lots of fun. You have tons of schools of... It's also a deck building game because you build up your... your repertoire or what is it called i can't remember the name exactly of your, of your your spells there's a name for it anyways i can't think of it um i know i haven't been talking much about the painting job but i mean you guys can read what's coming up on the screen right and you guys can see what colors i'm using and you can see i'm using a whole vast variety of purples and pinks just like in the artwork okay she has all these beautiful purples and pink colors uh, the Zenithal highlight did a pretty good job, I find, except for on her face. I should have maybe lightened it up a little bit more to make the light look as if she was shining on her face. Uh, again, I'm using this fairy dust. I've been using fairy dust for jewelry and white silver stuff, you know? Not just as an effect, but I find as a as a cool paint as well. And I tried to do her lipstick, and I went off camera here, but I kind of messed it up. And so, yeah, again, the camera just picked up this blob of pink, which it's not in real life. Anyways, there you have it folks, Geneve from the Black Rose Lodge is ready to hit the table and take out some other mages. I hope you guys are enjoying these Black Rose videos, I hope you enjoy my miniature painting videos. If you do, consider joining the channel or hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit everything you can on this channel. Comment down below what you think of the miniatures and what you're working on. Join the Discord channel, do whatever you want, and we'll see you all in the next one.